about a year ago, and it got to the point where I was couldn't sleep at night, um, numbness, tingling, pain that would run up my arm, all the way up into my neck. Um, had to give up a lot of the things that I was passionate about, um, belly dancing, uh, riding my motorcycle, you know, things that involved, you know, my arms to be up above in this position. So I decided to go to my family doctor and I said, you know, we have a problem. So he took an x-ray and he brought the x-ray in and he put it up on the wall and he says, Tammy, something's wrong with your neck. We need an MRI. So we got the MRI and realized that I had two herniated discs in my neck. And that was devastating to me. You know, I'm such a physical person, and I kept thinking, this is the reason why I've had so much pain. What am I going to do about it? So I got um, in touch with a physician down in Cincinnati who's a pain specialist, and uh, we started the physical rehab and, you know, the exercises and the traction. And I followed that just like the truth. And I went and saw him, and he did a couple of epidural steroid injections in that area, and that kind of calmed things down for a little bit. But um, it wasn't the answer, you know, that, that I needed. So I started telling all my friends, you know, I'm like, you know, ask around. Let's see what other kind of therapies are available. And it just so happened that a friend of mine um, has some employees. And he says, you know, Tammy, you really need to look into this place up in Dayton, um, this Dr. Rothstein. He's actually operated on three of my employees on their back. And they had herniated discs. And they were back to work. And they've, they've been pain-free. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. I need to look into that. I came up here and made an appointment for the first educational session, which I think is very huge to come to. Um, Dr. Rothstein believes that you know you do need to be informed. You do need to be able to ask the right questions. You need to know what questions to be able to ask about your condition. So he has this informational session where people from all over with different conditions come in, learn about the different um, therapies that they're doing up here. And then after that, um, my part, I had to actually have a discogram. And I'd heard through the grapevine from many people that it's extremely painful. Well, lo and behold, I don't remember a thing. So thank God, whatever medications that they use must have wiped out whatever happened. But I did test positive for the discogram, um, which is a diagnostic test that has to be done because he, the way he described it is he needs to verify that that is truly what's causing your pain. Um, why go in and fix something that's really not the reason why you're having the pain that you're having? So I tested positive for that, and then a couple of weeks later I was on the surgery schedule. And I had the surgery, and um, I'm pain-free. And I can do everything that I want to do. I have mulch stains underneath my fingernails right now because I'm back out in my yard, and I'm digging, and I'm planting, and I was on my bike last weekend, and, you know, I'm, I'm back to taking no medications. You know, I was on pain medicine, I was on an anti-inflammatory, I was on a muscle relaxant. I may take an Excedrin maybe once a week, but I have four kids. That's probably the reason why I'm taking the Excedrin. <laughs> so other than that, I've come full circle, and I feel like I've gotten my life back, because when you look at that x-ray, the first thing you think of is not me. Not me. I mean, I was very depressed. I kept thinking, I'm never going to enjoy life the way that I used to. And by doing the right research, being diligent, and getting in front of the right people um, up here at the North American Spine Institute, um, it's made a huge difference.